Before I start with the formal introduction to blockchain, let me take you for a moment to a possible future that should realize sooner than we expect. Let's assume you are on vacation outside your home country at a shopping mall and receive a notification saying there is a sale on luxurious watches. You haven't been to the store before. You pick up a watch and you wonder if the watch is genuine and worth the price. You start a mobile application and place it on the watch. The application recognizes the watch and displays the complete life cycle of the watch like where it was manufactured and the GPS coordinates, what parts make up the watch, where it was designed, when it left the manufacturing unit, who was the dealer, custom clearance certificate, what is the warranty period and even correlated information like how much custom duty you need to pay if you bring the watch back to your home country and even showing and comparing similar watches. So you purchase the watch based on these details and now feel even more connected to the watch brand and establish a trust with the shopping store for selling genuine products. Take another example, you need to transfer money overseas. You open a mobile application, provide the beneficiary mobile number and money is transferred instantly. You can even select from multiple transfer rates from multiple providers, view their ratings and choose one of them. You now have full control on how you can move your money across the globe without any central authority. Take another example, you are heading back to the airport and receive a message on your instant messenger. The message gets blocked instantly. The messenger classifies this as a fake news. So you are safe from distraction and later check why the message was blocked. So far I talked about consumer application. Let's take an example of a complex B2B process like an international trade finance which currently takes days to complete the trade process. Now, if the entire process is automated, self-regulated and equipped with enough consensus between various parties carrying out the trade, it can provide a window of opportunity for new buyers and sellers to handshake, implement and execute trade seamlessly with lot of trust and confidence. In all the scenarios that I described earlier and possibly in all our future applications, data would be the central point for businesses, consumers and even system interaction. For businesses, data and its state would be used to establish trust and compliance between parties and for optimizing the businesses. For consumers, it would be providing a better experience, personalized engagements and even authenticity of data be it for news, price or an event. For system, data would be crucial to establish the trust and compliance for autonomous functionality between devices in a connected world. Now, in a data-driven world, you need to establish trust and compliance between parties. You need governance, regulation and accountability through automated workflow and digital contracts rather than central authority and finally piece of technology that can enable to realize this goal. Once these basic parameters are enabled, it opens endless opportunities to move any value, be it services, to digital assets, across the network, in a secured and transparent way. The technology enabler that can aid in realizing this opportunity is blockchain. I view blockchain as an enabler to provide consensus of data. The consensus can be between business to business, business to consumer or consumer to consumer. I call blockchain as an enabler as blockchain alone will not lead to realizing the opportunities I talked about earlier. The combinatorial power of blockchain, smart contracts and technologies like IoT and artificial intelligence would enable us to deliver value-driven intelligent applications. While I described my vision, we are probably at the first generation of blockchain implementation where technologies are still evolving and use cases are still being realized. For more details on how to build blockchain application, kindly refer to my book Enterprise Blockchain. Through this book, we aim to provide a reference for building any blockchain application. The book comprises of three chapters. In chapter 1, we start with providing a neutral vision and architecture for blockchain without getting into any vendor implementations. In chapter 2, we will provide a detailed introduction to Ethereum and its core components. We would set up a local instance of Ethereum and build an end to end application on Ethereum blockchain using a hands on approach. At the end, we would cover topics around extensions to Ethereum blockchain, integration with external world 
and the future of smart contracts. In chapter 3, we would provide a detailed introduction to IBM Hyperledger and its core components. We would cover the enterprise capabilities provided by IBM Hyperledger 1.0. At the end, we would set up a local instance of Hyperledger 1.0 and build end-to-end -end applications on Hyperledger blockchain using a hands-on approach. Our goal in this book is to provide a simplistic view of blockchain technology. The concepts and references laid down in this book will help you to build any real-world blockchain application. Our aim is to keep the book short, relevant, provide practical guidance and enough information to our readers to be productive. We hope the information provided in this book would be a valuable resource in your blockchain journey. For any questions and feedback on the book, please feel free to reach out to me. Thank you.